Hello, so I'm going on a beach vacation and I'm trying to figure out what are the basic essentials that I need to take to take care of my hair. I'll be gone for four days, so I will need to wash my hair at least one time, maybe more because we're gonna be going to the beach, possibly swimming, we're gonna be outdoors a lot. I'm gonna show you what I've decided to bring. Hello, this is April with The Curl Story, celebrating multicultural curls and helping you build your curl confidence for wearing your curls every day. The first category is hair care. I will have a wash day, as I mentioned, and I'm visiting family, so I am gonna be at a house, so there isn't going to be the typical hotel items there, but we'll talk about that. First up are my cleansers. Now, I love these little bottles. Look how easy and slim these are. I can easily pack two bottles like this for a nice slim packing. And I'm going to bring, I'm actually going to bring three of them. I'm going to bring the deep cleansing shampoo because I imagine I'm going to be sweaty, salty, dirty. Then I'm going to bring the Smoothest Silk Deep Rent Moisture Conditioner. This is a great one for detangling as well, so I really love that. And then I'm going to bring in the leave-in because that is the base before I apply my stylers. So I'm just going to bring my basic Revlon brush for detangling in the shower. And then I haven't showed you this yet, but this is a baby muslin. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this fabric. It is huge. <laughs> but I just fold it into a triangle and I can use it for a full dry plop if I want to, or I can just use this for micro plopping and it's so beautiful. So sometimes when um, I'm doing my daughter's hair, I can just wrap this around her hair and then she'll just air dry after she's been wearing this for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I might use it just to micro plop my hair because I do diffuse. She doesn't really stand for diffusing, so that works best for her, and we're gonna um, both use that. On for styling. And of course, you've seen this on a previous video. Since we're going to a more humid climate than where we live, I'm going to bring my favorite anti-humidity styler lineup, which is the LA Hold Styling Gel from Giovanni Eco Chic Hair and the Mousse Air Turbocharged Hair Styling Foam. You know, super long names. <laughs> but these are really great. I always find these at my natural uh, foods grocery stores. And I need a refill on this before I go. So I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done with this video. I like just those two together in humidity because when you saw when I was testing in the mist and in the steam, those products still allow some steam to get into my hair and actually made the curls, it revitalized the curls. So I really did like that effect. So I'm gonna try that, but I'm also gonna bring the Innersense I Create Finish hairspray. It's a wet hairspray, but I do like this to, if I'm wearing my hair up, um, to really touch up those flyaway baby hairs to keep those down. From my experience, from my hair, when I wear this hairspray, it doesn't allow water to soak in. It's difficult for me to refresh once I put this hairspray on because it really is the finishing. You're, you don't need to do anything else after that. If you need to refresh, then it probably just needs to be washed out. Sometimes I like to use that on the last day of my hairstyling. So maybe on the third day, if I'm doing some type of updo, then I will use that hairspray, knowing that I'm just gonna be washing that out and restyling it the next day. So I like to have that as an option. Then um, if I'm not going to use that, then I'm going to bring my misting spray bottle. And what I do is I put just a couple of drops of lavender in it and shake it up. I'm gonna show you how this misting looks. I love it. It's very misty, it smells wonderful. So for quick refresh, I do like to spray my hair with it, then walk away. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's sort of like the, the misting video. Is it just spray? It's not gonna look good right away. I just do some other things for 10, 15 minutes, come back, 
and that has given the hair enough time to soak it up. Another great thing about this with the lavender is the kids love it when we spray it on the bed and the pillowcase because it just smells so good, it's fresh, it has their moisture, so it's really nice use for traveling. I am gonna bring some dry shampoo. I love the smell of this one. It just really has a sophisticated, clean scent to it. So nothing fruity, just very fresh. So I do love this one, but again, it does make my hair feel tacky. So this is only for one day. So when I use this, I know I'm gonna be washing my hair that night or the next morning. So, but I love having that as an option. Let's say I was outdoors all day and then we're going out to dinner and I just want to refresh or get that outside smell out of my hair, this is a great option. For the drying part, I'm going to bring my pick because I love pick diffusing to get volume. Then I am going to bring the diffuser, but it's pretty big. So, you know, I still have my old diffuser, which it works. I love it. So why buy a new one? <laughs> I'll buy a new one when it breaks. Um, the problem is it takes up so much space, right? But what I, this came with it, so it fits perfectly, but um, I don't travel too much. If I did, what I would love to buy is a collapsible diffuser. So they, I think they must be made of some type of silicone and where it actually smushes down to a flat little disc. So it's easily packable. Um, but I just don't know how it fits with certain dryers, but that's great if you're going to a hotel because you don't have to take the hair dryer. You can just take a collapsible diffuser with you and that's pretty good. I've even used, <laughs> one time when I was visiting my mom's house, I even used a colander, a metal colander from the kitchen and put that bowl over my head and then used her hair dryer underneath it worked. I know it sounds really weird, but it worked. You know, we make do when we need to. <laughs> um, then on to some hair accessories. Oh, wait, wait, what about non-wash day? Where is it? Oh, okay. For non-wash days, I'm gonna clip up my hair with my favorite salon clips and a shower cap. So these are a must for my hair as well. Then onto hair accessories, because of course I know my hair is not going to look like this every single day and that's okay. That's okay. We've got hairstyles to still have a great hair day, even if our curls are not salon perfect. Not that these are salon perfect, but you know what I'm saying. So my basics are a medium sized jaw clip. They're great for um, French twists or just putting um, hair half up quickly for a casual look. The coiling bands, um, these I just bought at Walmart. I love these because they have a matte finish. They kind of blend into my hair and I can do some really pretty updos with those. I'm gonna bring a couple of barrettes for some half updos and this is a little volume barrette and then a mini one for just if I need to put my bangs back that's really cute because I still want to look cute not too casual on vacation there's going to be photos and things so I uh, want to level it up a little bit I'm going to bring something fun this new headband from France Lux it's a different style of headband it actually goes right at the hairline let me see if I can put it on right now if not I'll insert a photo let's see how it looks This is how it looks. But the way I really love to wear it is when I have my hair um, up in a curly bun. This really dresses it up so cute for being poolside or at the beach. So definitely wanna bring that. I'm gonna bring some pretty gold body pins for a beautiful dinner out. Aren't these so pretty? So, so pretty. One scrunchy one of these tiny little bands because these are really great to just pull my bangs back as well. I'm just trying to keep it simple. I don't have hair accessories for each and every outfit because it's not a special event. We're just going to be 
exploring, spending time outside, going out to restaurants, visiting with family. So a lot of casual activities, but we're also on vacation. So a tip that I have is, is saving little bottles from some of my empties for traveling purposes. So sometimes little travel size items are refillable, so I keep those. I love that. Or small type of gel or cream containers are great because they're a lot sturdier and a lot more waterproof than the travel size ones that you buy. Like this one, you know, was specifically from a little travel kit and just the top doesn't screw on very well. So I don't really trust that one. This one was a nice little one. So I like saving these for travel so I can pour in some of my products if it's just for, you know, a weekend stay and I just need a few things and just to pack one quick bag, I can do that with these items. So I love reusing, recycling, and really trying to minimize my plastic usage. That is a really big project, um, but I'm slowly working on it and I'll keep you updated. So I clarified my hair, um, it, it needed it. And I will do a video to let you know how I know when it's time to clarify my hair. So my hair is super happy. I have all of this volume. I do have a little bit of frizz and I think that's because I've been swimming in the pool quite a bit. I did do a deep conditioning, just a quick deep conditioning treatment after I didn't use my hot head this time which I should have. So uh, when I come back from my vacation, especially if I've been at the beach and at the pool a lot, I'm definitely going to do my 30 minute deep conditioning and to really treat my hair because I only do hair treatments when my hair needs it. Think of it as, think of treatments as medicine. So you're not gonna take a cough medicine to prevent a cough. You're going to take cough medicine when you get a cough. So think of the same thing as hair masks, hair treatment. So if you don't have dry hair, if you don't have issues, then you don't need to do a mask. Save some money <laughs> and enjoy your hair. So I wish you well on all of your travels this year and I hope this helps a little bit with your packing of hair care. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs>